better than can possibly be imagined. This is a truly terrifying scarecrow. Behold, Wazzle Gummidge. Is he not rather special? Let me talk you through his construction. He's made of Terminalia cerisia. That's his trunk over there. And here is his beautiful arms. Uh, we attached the, the arms to the trunk using Terminalia cerisia bark that we plaited together and then tied him on. Very good. We used a traditional gaffer tape to put on the more delicate hand uh, extensions, which are just leaves of um, Terminalia cerisia. And then, of course, we topped him with the baboon skull and put two traditional now marula fruits in his eyes. And I think no bird is going to come anywhere near the bush where the caterpillars are going to be living soon. Isn't that wonderful? So that's where he's going to stay. And uh, yes, Kirsten, no, he cannot bite because his mouth is shut tight, but you'll find that most scarecrows are probably fairly immobile. I've wired his jaw shut because it wouldn't stay uh, on the top of the scarecrow, so I think that's quite good. There we go. Is he looking up a bit, David? Does he need to look down more? Is he? No, is he? He must look fairly terrifying there, don't you think? Absolutely. I would quite like the Juma troop of baboons to come past and see what they thought of him. Anyway, I will put him in place, and then uh, when you see us next, uh, he will be in his position. I think it's probably going to be quite far down that way, if I'm not mistaken. That's probably where we'll have to put him, um, but we'll figure that out.